What is Compassion Science in Medicine? My name is Dr. Dominic Vishan, and I'm the director of the Ruth M. Hillebrand Center for Compassionate Care in Medicine in the College of Science at the University of Notre Dame. The mission of the Hillebrand Center is to restore the spirit of compassion in healthcare by advancing the application of the science of compassion at every level of medical training and practice in order to improve patient care and to transform clinician well-being. The science of compassion represents a paradigm shift in the practice of medicine and in medical training. Basically, for those of us who are clinicians, what we know now is that if you aren't centered in compassion, you are practicing outdated medicine. Centering yourself in the science of compassion will improve not only your patient care, but also help you in terms of your well being and burnout. This time is really Hubble telescope time in the helping professions. Compassion science is the new instrument that helps bring into focus what compassion really is. The Hubble telescope didn't create distant galaxies. It helped us see what is already there more clearly. In the same way, the science of compassion is our Hubble telescope, helping us understand more clearly what's going on when we work with people who are suffering. The science of compassion is based on the biology of compassion, the neuroscience of compassion, the psychology of compassion, as well as other sciences. Compassion science has two domains. What is going on inside the clinician and what is going on outside the clinician for the patient. In terms of what's going on inside us as clinicians, compassion science helps us understand more of what is going on at a neuroscientific level when we are in a state of compassion versus when we are in a state of emotional detachment or over-involved empathy. It also helps us with what's going on in the clinician in terms of dealing with all the things that happen inside us when we're working with patients who are suffering and we're working in a dysfunctional healthcare system. The other domain is what's going on on the outside for the patient. Compassion science gives us tools for understanding how do you help that compassionate inner attitude get expressed with your patients so that they can feel that when they work with you and benefit from it. Because of compassion science, we're more clear now about misconceptions of compassion in the practice of medicine. A scientific understanding of compassion is more helpful to us in practice than uh, the sentimentalized notions that we have had before. We're more clear, for example, that emotional detachment, even if this were possible, is actually dangerous to the patient as well as to the clinician. What really matters is achieving a state of emotion regulation and balance between emotional detachment and emotional over-involvement. We're more clear now that there's a difference between empathy and compassion, and that learning how to maintain a constant mental state of compassion is the key to maintaining balance and giving excellent patient care. We're also more clear about how do you train the clinician mind and heart to do this emotionally and intellectually difficult work and maintain this mental state of compassion. We've discovered how the neurobiology of in our patient actually changes when we treat them with compassion. We understand more about what compassion fatigue is and what it isn't and how do we deal with that. We also now know that clinicians having their motivation rooted in compassion is the most critical factor for decreasing burnout, and that the most effective way to achieve this is by creating compassionate cultures in our business organizations. 
The main findings of the science of compassion in terms of research are amazing. Dr. Stephen Treziak and Dr. Anthony Mazzarelli have reviewed much of this research in a book called Compassionomics. Compassion improves patient care. It improves the business of healthcare and clinician well-being. In terms of patient care, compassion variables are related to improved patient satisfaction, but also improved medical outcomes. Compassion science variables are related to organizational business success, in which compassion-based organizations are more successful, more efficient and profitable, as well as have decreased employee turnover. And finally, when clinicians are working in a state of compassion, that is actually related to improved clinician well-being and decreased burnout. We call this the compassion science effects paradox, because compassion is not only good for our patients, it's actually really important to us in continuing to do this work well and taking care of ourselves in this difficult work. So we invite you to learn more about this paradigm shift in medical training and clinical practice. On the Hillebrand Center website, you can look at programs that we've developed since 2011 for integrating compassion science into pre-medical training, into medical graduate and residency training, and also for how to integrate the science of compassion into healthcare organizations and continuing medical education. You can also refer to our source book titled, How Doctors Care, The Science of Compassionate and Balanced Caring in Medicine. Thank you for your interest in this cutting edge work of applying the science of compassion to healthcare.